sought to inflict harm on Brad. It's not a may have some new information on business negotiations between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt accused of looting Chateau Merival's assets in new legal filing. An ongoing legal dispute over a French estate and winery Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie formerly owned together continues to escalate. In a new court filing obtained by CNN, Jolie's former investment company Nouvelle accuses Pitt and co-conspirators of attempting to retain control of Chateau Merival by stripping and looting its assets. Nouvelle is seeking at least $350 million in damages. Meant to only sell their share of the winery with the others can to um revamp the studio re asserting she secretly sold her 50 percent stake in the quote pit wasted the company's assets spending millions on vanity projects including more than one million dollars on swimming pool renovations building and rebuilding a staircase four times and spending millions to restore a recording studio the document filed monday states attorneys for nouvelle claim in the filing that pitt's misconduct escalated after Jolie sold Nouvelle in October 2021 to Tenut Del Mondo, a subsidiary of Stoli Group, controlled by Russian oligarch Yuri Scheffler. Incensed that Jolie sold Nouvelle to Stoli rather than him, Pitt has acted like a petulant child, refusing to treat Nouvelle as an equal partner in the business, the filing states. The claim includes more than one happy endings are stories that haven't finished yet. His ex, first filed a lawsuit over Angie's meant to only sell their share of the winery with the others can CNN has reached out to representatives for Pitt for comment on Monday's filing. Pitt first filed a lawsuit over Jolie's sale of the estate and winery in February 2022, calling it unlawful because, he claims, the two had agreed when they purchased the property that neither would sell without the other's consent. Jolie filed a countersuit claiming that there was never any such agreement and that she sold her portion of the winery in an effort to have financial independence from Pitt and to have some form of peace and closure to this deeply painful and traumatic chapter of her and their children's lives. The former couple purchased the country estate and winery in the south of France in 2008. That's how we present this content. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. For the support of our viewers, thank you. One Happy endings are stories that haven't finished yet. His ex first filed a lawsuit over Angie's meant to only sell their share of the winery with the others.